Hello and welcome to the spoken tutorial on command line arguments. In this tutorial, we will learn about main function with argument with an example. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu operating system version 11.10, GCC compiler version 4.6.1 on Ubuntu. To follow this tutorial, you should be familiar with C tutorials. If not, for relevant tutorials, please visit our website which is as shown. Let us start with our program. I have a code file. I will open it. File name is main-width-args.c. Let me explain the program. These are the header files. stdio.h defines core input and output functions. stdlib.h header file defines numeric conversion function, pseudo random numbers, generation function, memory allocation, process control functions. This is our main function. Inside this, we have passed two arguments int argc, care asterisk asterisk, argv. Argc refers to the number of command line arguments passed to the program. This includes the actual name of the program. Argv contains actual arguments starting from index 0. Index 0 is the name of the program. Index 1 will be the first argument passed to the program. Index 2 will be the second argument passed to the program and so on. This statement will display the total number of arguments passed to the program. This will display the first argument passed to the program. 1 represents the argument at index 1. While condition will decrement the number of arguments. This statement will print all the arguments passed to the program. At the end, we have return 0 statement. Let us open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Type gcc space main hyphen width hyphen args dot c space hyphen o space args. Press enter. Type dot slash args. Press enter. You can see the output as total number of arguments are 1. The first argument is null. Arguments are dot slash args. Command line arguments are given during execution. Total number of arguments are 1 as the 0th argument is the executable file name itself. The first argument is null as we have not passed any argument to the program. Arguments are only 1 that is dot slash args. Now let us execute again. Press the up arrow key. Space type Sunday space Monday space Tuesday. Press enter. Now we can see the output. Total number of arguments are 4. The first argument is Sunday. Arguments are dot slash args Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Let me explain the output. Total number of arguments are 4 as dot slash args Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. The first argument is Sunday. The zeroth argument always gives executable file name. Sunday is assigned to first argument. Monday is assigned to second argument. Tuesday is assigned to third argument. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned command line argument ARGC, ARGV. As an assignment, execute the program with different arguments. Watch the video available at the link shown below. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project.
If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial Project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at the link shown below. This is Ashwini Patil from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.